Hello everyone and in today's video I just want to talk about one thing in particular which is the charger situation of the global versions for the Xiaomi Mi 11. I thought of doing some comparison between the Snapdragon 888 and some other chipsets but then that kind of content has already been done by quite a lot of people so I shifted my focus and only want to talk about the charging speeds of its included 55 watts gun charger for the Xiaomi Mi 11 and what you need to know about the charger. So let's go. So firstly, like we mentioned earlier, the Xiaomi Mi 11 global version, not directly from China, you'll be getting a charger inside the box. This one in particular, this is a 55 watt scan charger and then it's also using a USB type A output so you'll be getting yet another USB Type-A to Type-C cable, but this time it has an orange cable header instead. So in a standard practice like what we do for all of the charging tests of all of the smartphones that we reviewed, we drain the battery down to 15% and then we charge it all the way up to 100% and see how long it actually takes. So by looking at the graph here, using its full 55 watts of potential to charge the Xiaomi Mi 11, it takes about around 47 to 48 minutes to charge it from 15 to 100%, which is surprisingly good given that it is using a 4600 mAh battery. But this video doesn't end here. I want to talk about some other things. For example, why is Xiaomi using a USB Type-A output whereby many of the higher wattage chargers, for example, Let's just take the Lenovo Legion phone for example. That phone is using a 65 watts charger in the box also, but it's using a USB Type-C output. And, and we should also draw parallels from our laptop counterparts because laptops nowadays, they do come with USB Type-C chargers. For example, this laptop charger here. As you can see, it's using a Type-C output. Even the XPS 15 that I've been using every day right now, it is using a Type-C output as well for its laptop. And by just looking at the type of USB port that they are using for the chargers, we already know that this charger is using proprietary standards. What proprietary standard means is that you will need the exact same cable and charger to fast charge your phone. It does not support any other cables or charger for its fast charging. And with that in mind, we actually tested it out. Remember this? This is the Ugreen 65 watts gun charger. It's one of the best chargers that I've used so far. It has a maximum output of 65 watts and it supports USB PD and also USB PPS and also some other proprietary standards as well. But this charger, when I plug it into the phone right here via its USB Type-C output, it doesn't fast charge the phone even though this charger can output 65 watts. That means and confirms that the Xiaomi Mi 11 is using a proprietary standard. But funnily enough though, I managed to charge this laptop here using the Xiaomi Mi 11 55 watt scan charger and using my watt meter, it manages to tell me that this charger is outputting 55 watts in total, which is kind of confusing. Okay, so future me dropping by here just to clarify a little bit on why I say it's funny and also confusing at the same time. Well, it is because the laptop shouldn't know how to communicate with the charger to get its full 55 watts because it's proprietary. The reason is because the laptop actually supports the 55 watts proprietary charger from Xiaomi and also the Ugreen 65 watts charger that supports USB PD standards. I'm not too sure what's going on, but the Mi 11 doesn't support the USB PD charger that I have, which is why I say it's a little bit confusing. Not too sure what's happening, but this is what we found out. But then again, because Xiaomi is giving a 55 watts charger instead of the usual 65 watts charger, um, this laptop uses a 65 watt charger whereby this charger can only output 55. So it's missing 10 watts, so the laptop's confused. And there's one more thing that I need to highlight. Xiaomi originally said that they are removing chargers from the Xiaomi Mi 11 to save the environment, but that didn't happen because the global version came with this 55 watt scan charger, which I think is a big U-turn and also Xiaomi, if you really want to protect the environment and include the charger alongside, you should have included a 65 watt scan charger that supports open standards like USB PD and better yet, USB PD PPS so you can even fast charge some other devices that support PPS as well. This is a rather ironic situation, I would say, because again, 
you should have given a more open standard charger because let's face it, a lot of devices nowadays already support 65 watts fast charging. So there's no reason to use a proprietary charger that only supports 55 watts. So yeah, that's, that's it. I mean, if you really want to pick up the Mi 11, do make sure that you do not lose the charger or lose the cable because if you want to fast charge the phone, you will need these two things. And getting replacements for proprietary stuff will be expensive, but I don't know how much it is right now. So yeah, that's it. That's all we have to say about this quick little video about the charging capability of the Xiaomi Mi 11 and also what I think about it. And that's it. That's all we want to tell you. Do watch our unboxing video of the Xiaomi Mi 11 and we'll see you guys in our full review, presumably coming as soon as possible, I hope. Yeah, we'll see you then. Goodbye.